Since its initial primary mission, astronauts have praised the Crew Dragon and declared it the best in its class. Since its introduction, the Crew Dragon has completed more tasks than any other spacecraft, with astronauts clamoring to join at every opportunity. But what distinguishes it from the competition so much? Welcome back to another exciting video from Tech News Expert. Today's video is about SpaceX Crew Dragon Destroy Sowers and Starline because of this. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. This private crew mission, a teardrop capsule, was built on SpaceX's initial Dragon cargo capsule, much like NASA's Mercury Apollo and Gemini capsules and the current soy used today. The Dragon craft made history in March 2019 when it successfully docked with the International Space Station, making it the first American spacecraft to do so on Demo-1. SpaceX successfully transported astronauts and cargo to the ISS, a significant victory for the United States and the company. Crew Dragon has launched 36 times since its initial flight, participated in 15 reflow missions, and visited the ISS 33 times. In contrast, Boeing Starliner has a different dependability and track record. The company is years behind its initial schedule despite receiving a much larger contract for the Starliner's construction. The space capsule recently made Rosie the Rocketeer its first unmanned visitor to the ISS, and it intends to make its first crew trip in 2023. However, several problems need to be resolved before it can carry astronauts. The design team at Dragon focused on building a spacecraft for the 21st century with outstanding usability and user experience. The vehicle's interior is roomy and has a white and black palette. Older NASA aircraft like the Gemini and Apollo had a space problem. Although the astronauts were always a little close to one another during a journey, this wasn't a problem. Doug Hurley was one of the first NASA employees to ride on crew. According to Dragon, operating the aircraft was exactly as we had anticipated, which was one of the reasons we wanted to conduct the manual flight test twice. Although NASA usually dispatches four astronauts at a time, the vehicle was altered to have plenty of leg room in a cargo area that can transport up to 7,291 pounds to the International Space Station. The car was initially intended to accommodate seven astronauts easily. In addition, Dragon SpaceX chose touchscreens for the person rather than the standard spacecraft dial and buttons. Hurley claims that before settling on touchscreens, SpaceX worked with astronauts to determine the most effective control systems for the spacecraft. Knowing what we need to do at any given point is very intuitive. The astronauts can engage naturally with the spacecraft's cockpit thanks to the central location of all their controls and readouts and the touchscreen functionality of their suit gloves. Another thing the team was praised for was the spacesuits. When the astronauts eventually put on the spacesuits that Dragon SpaceX had spent four years perfecting, they gave it high marks for how well it complemented the rest of their equipment. The suits received a five-star rating because they were made especially for a particular purpose and were made to protect the wearers from fires and other accidents, even though they weren't required to do so. The space trip was pleasant because they were created to blend well with the spacecraft's design. The flight system, also known as the Next Generation Spacecraft, is the first vehicle ever intended to be completely autonomous, though it can still be manually controlled if necessary. Although it has yet to undergo thorough testing, Boeing Starliner plans to have the same capabilities when it takes off. The capsule has an emergency launch escape system with eight Super Draco rockets that can each discharge 16,000 pounds of force if something goes wrong during takeoff. Parachutes will bring down the passengers after the LEs pushes the capsule away from the rocket. Additionally, Crew Dragon was built to be too fault tolerant. Even if two components, such as the thrusters and flight computer, malfunction, the spacecraft can still safely return the crew to Earth. However, the likelihood of this occurring is low. Hurley, who piloted the Crew Dragon on its first manned test flight, claims concern is unnecessary because the capsule is typically safer than a flying vehicle. Dragon is designed to reach the International Space Station independently after taking off from the Kennedy Space Center personnel. Additionally, it will dock without human assistance as it gets closer to the base. In an interview, Jessica Jensen, head of Spaceship Mission Hardware at SpaceX, described how this is feasible. As the capsule approaches, GGPS sensors, cameras, and imaging sensors like LIDAR are raised on the nose cone to direct it. These sensors provide data to the flight computer, which uses it to determine how to efficiently fire the thrusters to bring the craft to the docking destination. One of the astronauts on board the International Space Station, when the Crew Dragon took off with astronauts, panel recounted how incredible it was to see the Crew Dragon approaching the station, and Robert Hines, who visited for the first time in April, described the rocket ride as an exhilarating encounter that made his eyes water, even after having a flying fighter career. The spacecraft has a maximum endurance of 210 days. The Crew Dragon undoss independently once more and executes a deorbit burn with its thrusters when the astronauts are prepared to re-enter the atmosphere due to the harsh conditions of space. The heat shield at the bottom of the capsule is built to withstand temps as hot as the sun's surface. 
The heat shield is ablative and steadily burns away as the capsule returns to Earth because of the extreme speed at which it travels through the atmosphere, up to 25 times the speed of sound. The spaceship releases four parachutes after its fiery re-entry into Earth's atmosphere to slow it down. Despite being built to land on land, Crew Dragon crashes into the Atlantic Ocean 450 kilometers off the coast of Florida due to a series of explosive failures. There, recovery ships will be able to collect the astronaut and capsule. Early recalled how Dragon really came alive as they descended into Earth's atmosphere. It started firing its thrusters to keep us moving in the correct direction. Nearly continuous thruster discharge was occurring. It doesn't have a mechanical tone. It has an animal-like manner, current objective. NASA will likely never use Russia's Soyuz spacecraft again now that Crew Dragon has been tried and trusted, particularly given the deteriorating east-west relationship. NASA revealed in August that SpaceX had been chosen to carry five crewed missions to the ISS over the following six years. As a result, Crew Dragon now has 14 missions under its belt compared to Skyliner 6, which it will begin carrying out in February 2020 with the first crew operation. SpaceX has significant control over the missions thanks to the $1.4 billion contract. The business will continue to transport astronauts to the ISS until 2030, when it is anticipated that you will retire the ISS. Crew Dragon is light years ahead of the Soyuz, Starliner, and Japanese astronauts in terms of innovative architecture, technology, and engineering. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.